Welcome to a preview of the new ARC News section. There are two ways to access the news. One is by the drop-down menu, and the other is from the link on the main body of the homepage. The news section is divided into the blog and the events calendar. You can search blogs, or you can view them individually or by month. Today we'll be focusing on the events calendar. The events calendar is a collection of ARC recommended events such as exhibitions, lectures, workshops, auctions and so forth. This includes important events concerning artists of previous centuries and also those organised for or by our ARC affiliated artists allied organisations and ARC approved schools. This list is a work in progress to which we'll be actively adding as our fans and artists alike write in with new events. The main sections are the search filters and the tabs. The calendar is the default tab and has four viewing modes, day, week, month and year. There are also navigation buttons on the left to allow you to go forwards and backwards during the currently selected mode. When you click a day tile on the calendar, you'll see a summary of the, of the events on that day. You can also hover over one of the coloured squares to see a short description of the event. To see more information, just click on the event image or, ti or title showing the uh, showing the pop-up with more details. From here you can add the event to your personal calendar. You'll be taken to the event page where you can see here it's been added and it can be removed. The filters include searching by title, by event type, such as uh, auction or competition, trade show, workshop and so on, by date range, by country, and also by events already in your calendar. So we can see here the event that I've just added. We can clear this again and see all events. The next tab to look at is the event listing. The default sort is ending soonest to keep you apprised of events that are just about finished. You can see on the right hand side uh, some text indicating when the event starts and when it finishes. But you can also see all events that are either active or haven't yet started, that is events that haven't actually been completed. So you can see all these events in, in chronological order, and you can add them to your calendar from here. Or you can sort by starting soonest as well. The final tab is the map, which shows events located around the world. This can be useful for finding events that are in your local vicinity or in the location you plan to travel to. Just click the marker to see the events at that location. You can then click the link to go to the page on the event itself. This concludes our preview of the ARC News section with the blog and the events calendar.